Hi, it's Mason, and today we're going to continue our video on Game Boy Pockets and talk about the most common issues with the Game Boy Pocket and the easiest ways to fix those issues. Alright, so welcome back. This is part two of a video series where I'm going to be fixing this Game Boy Pocket. In the last video we talked about how to disassemble um, the Game Boy Pocket. So here's the shell. I have the buttons and screws all put away. Um, but in this video we're going to be focusing on the motherboard. And in this video specifically we're talking about the quickest, easiest ways to fix your Game Boy. Um, and these are really accessible ways. What we're going to need for this video um, is a toothbrush. We're gonna need some Q-tips. Uh, in this Tupperware, I have some isopropyl alcohol, and in this Tupperware, I have some vinegar, just distilled white vinegar um, that you can pick up at your local grocery store. So with that said, the number one issue um, that occurs with Game Boy Pockets, Game Boy Colors, really any type of Game Boy is right here, this power switch gets a little bit of dirt in it, and when there's dirt in it, it makes it so it can't make contact and the power can't um, go through. But in this Game Boy, there's also a little bit of corrosion on the battery port. So this is going to be a good video for us to see the two. That's the other big problem is corrosion. Um, so we're going to see the two biggest issues um, that your Game Boys are facing and the quick ways to fix them. So without further ado, um, we're going to get our isopropyl alcohol. And it's preferable that you have as high a concentration of alcohol as possible. This right here is 90%. Um, just because what makes alcohol different than water is just that the alcohol is going to evaporate out a lot faster. It's not going to get in there and mess it up. So I just dab the little tip of my toothbrush in there. This isn't my actual toothbrush. It's specifically for this. <laughs> Don't use your own toothbrush. Um, dip it in the alcohol and then just smother it. All right, and you might be, if this is your first time doing this, you might be a little worried about it getting wet, but don't worry, you're just gonna smother it and just push it back and forth, get those bristles in there, just clean it right up, just like a little tooth. And um, once you feel like it's been thoroughly soaked um, in alcohol, just go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And it feels, I can feel it in here getting less and less um, crunchy. <laughs> as I go back and forth. It feels a lot smoother. It, I can feel that it is uh, making better contact with that. And so, you know, while I have a little bit of alcohol on here, I'm just gonna go get the rest of it as well because you never know. Sometimes there's just a little piece of dirt stuck in somewhere that's stopping a little contact. You can also feel free just with your toothbrush, just go right up against those pins so it can read that game cartridge really well. Go right up against the volume and the contrast knobs. Go ahead and turn those as well. And you're just really gonna get this all covered in alcohol. And that is the biggest, the best kept secret in cleaning your Game Boy. There's no reason for you to have a Game Boy that doesn't work because it just takes a little bit of alcohol to fix it. Um, we'll work on this side um, next. That's a really good way. If your buttons aren't working as well, you can rub some alcohol on there, but we're just trying to get this to work. So without any vinegar or any work on the corrosion, we're gonna see if that was the issue or not. Um, and keep in mind, it might there might be more wrong with this, but in general, I'd say probably 70% of the time, what's wrong with your Game Boy is just this little power switch right here. So in order to test it without having to completely rebuild it, I'm just gonna wipe it off a little bit. I kinda went a little trigger happy with that isopropyl alcohol. Um, I'm gonna put the screen back in, all right? And so right here, I have the screen that we disassembled from last video. And all you gotta do um, to, dis to reassemble the screen is uh, put this ribbon cable back in, right? And you can push both these little clamps back down. And just like that, the screen is reattached. And now you're gonna need to use these battery terminals right here. And so you need to put the, uh, the motherboard back in to the back of the Game Boy Pocket Shell. And as you can see right there, we've got a little spot to uh, put our batteries. And we're gonna see if this works. We'll put a little game in just for kicks and giggles. All right. So right here, we've got our power switch. 
and we're just going to flick it on, see if it works. Alright, I notice right here that I am moving the contrast dial a little bit because that can often be a problem if your contrast isn't to a good setting. But it looks like this might be a little bit of a trickier fix than we anticipated initially, which is good. That's what we want, right? We want a challenge. So yeah, it looks like the power button, it feels good. It seems like it's good. If it's still not working after we fix the, uh, the corrosion, um, then we can go in and desolder that um, power pad, but that's a little more advanced. We're hoping to keep this video nice and simple. Um, so let's take out the batteries, remove it from the, uh, from the shell again. All right, and we're also going to remove this screen um, just because I've kind of been handling it a little bit, so we're already going to have to clean it. So move that aside. So um, now the next issue that uh, I just saw just by looking at it um, are these battery terminals right here. Um, and as you can see, right in here, that little blue, it looks like bubble gum almost, is corrosion. And uh, there's a little bit of it on this terminal as well, not a ton, but just for thoroughness sake. Um, like I said in the last video, you know, it's pretty easy to just take this guy right out. And um, the easiest way, the number one way to fix battery corrosion is vinegar. It's just a chemical that is very volatile with the corrosion. So in here I just have some distilled white vinegar. You can use apple cider vinegar, rice vinegar, whatever you want. And I'm just going to throw it in there and you can see immediately when I throw it in, it bubbles up a little bit. Um, you can kind of agitate it a little bit if you need, but it's going to come off real fast, that um, corrosion. In fact, it looks like just in the two seconds it was in there, it's all gone. So pretty cool vinegar. I'm going to use um, just some isopropyl alcohol again to rub this down because if you leave your metal in vinegar for too long, it's going to turn all black and gross and nobody wants a black gross Game Boy. So, Rubbing some isopropyl alcohol on it, once again, will make it evaporate quickly. I'm going to go set that aside. Now, um, with these battery terminals in here, this is where we're going to use our Q-tip. So, um, you can see there's just a little bit of corrosion right in here, and I'm wondering if that is what's disrupting the connection, possibly. So, we're going to dip our Q-tip in some vinegar, and you can see, once again, it immediately starts bubbling up. It immediately is going away. You can scrub it again with your toothbrush if it needs a little bit of mechanical force just to get that uh, um, corrosion off. So yeah, you can just kind of let it simmer for a little bit. It's gonna just like soak like dishes in the sink um, and slowly it's just gonna chip away at that corrosion. Let's get the other side a little bit. And you really wanna, you really wanna soak it. And the vinegar's not gonna hurt the uh, the system if it gets elsewhere on the board it, it's fine it's not going to be a big deal in fact with some projects we're going to have to use a lot more vinegar on the whole system um, so just get ready <laughs> all right so I dip my toothbrush in vinegar now I'm just going to kind of finish it off a little bit um, sometimes you need to be a little abrasive with it just to get it all off there and. Uh, as you've already seen, I tend to be pretty generous with my use of vinegar and alcohol just because they really do solve these issues. Sometimes if there is a little bit extra, you can scrape some off. Now be careful with this because you can also scrape off the plating. Um, luckily this is, it looks pretty superficial, all the corrosion here, so it's, I'm not scraping off any of the plating or anything, which is nice. So um, I've dried it off, got it all ready. Looks like most of the corrosion is gone on these battery terminals here. So I'm just gonna plug it back in. We're gonna try the exact same thing that we did last time, see if it's working. All right, so we've got our Game Boy here um, once again. And uh, let's just give it a go. Let's see if it works. I've got my speaker turned up as well. If the speaker is working, which I'm not sure of yet, um, it'll tell us if it's on. Oh, 
And there we go. It's saved. It's cured. It's alive. So yeah, from there, um, you can see on the button. Yeah, the sound's working. It's a little crunchy. But uh, yeah, another Game Boy has been revived, everyone. So this has been um, our troubleshooting, our quick repairs. Once again, the battery, um, terminal corrosion, and the dirt in the power switch. Those are the two most common problems here. And as you saw, um, it's, it's one or the other most of the time. And so these are both really quick home remedies you can do for your Game Boy. Um, in the next video, I'm just gonna go through top to bottom how we can clean every part of the Game Boy, how we can make it look beautiful again. All right, thanks for watching.